Elon Musk is a tech billionaire and world richest man who co-founded and leads Tesla, SpaceX, Neuralink and The Boring Company. Kenya, on the other hand, is the landscape many people imagine when they think of Africa. Kenya is located in East Africa. Its terrain rises from a low coastal plain on the Indian Ocean to mountains and plateaus at its center. Most Kenyans live in the highlands, where Nairobi is the capital city. Kenya's economy is rising faster than other African countries. And as we know, Kenya is the tech hub for Africa full of hardworking individuals. The availability of talent and access to affordable internet are some of factors that have contributed to the rise of the country's prominence in technology matters. The government, on the other hand, set out a framework to develop what has been dubbed as the Silicon Savannah and established Kanza Technopolis. And that's what makes her beautiful attracting the eyes of many investors across the globe including U.S. and China. With initiatives like digitizing its government records and building a tech hub, aptly dubbed the Silicon Valley of Africa, Kenya's tech push is something tech companies across the world are beginning to pay attention to. Now with the above information, let's understand why Musk is going to Kenya. Elon Musk has expressed interest in making an entry into the Kenyan market via his satellite internet firm Starlink. The internet service provider announced that it would establish its services in Kenya by the second quarter of the year, which inevitably poses a threat to other service providers in the region. For years now, the telecommunications company Safaricom has enjoyed an almost uncontested market presence in East Africa's most technologically advanced country. However, with the recent entry of Canadian-based telecom Aristol and now Elon Musk Starlink, it is entirely possible that Safaricom's dominance in Kenya is under threat. Starlink announced that it is currently pending service coverage or regulatory approval. According to the company, Kenyans would be able to order the service once the regulatory approval falls through. Availability is subject to regulatory approval. Within each coverage area, orders are fulfilled on a first-come, first-served basis, the company stated. A few key sub-regions of interest for Starlink includes Nairobi, Kisumu, Mombasa and Nakuru, all of which Starlink services could be made available to by the midpoint of the year. Based on its satellite computing and coverage, Starlink has been designed to function effectively in any region, regardless of how remote said region is. According to the company, Starlink has unlimited service locations and is suited to function in rural and remote locations, making it perfect for some regions in Kenya. Kenya is currently undergoing a tech revolution, with a rapidly growing demand for tech infrastructures and services. Growing demands in streaming services also makes the country rife for service providers to establish a market presence. With initiatives like digitizing its government records and building a tech hub, aptly dubbed the Silicon Valley of Africa, Kenya's tech push is something tech companies across the world are beginning to pay attention to. It's true that Elon Musk's planned entry into Kenya appears to be another threat to Safaricom's market share. But is it the whole truth? This is in regard that Elon Musk's service might be more expensive than Safaricom's. Kenyans, however, can order and deposit an amount of SH-12, 260 which is fully refundable to get the service if approved. Elon Musk's satellite internet firm Starlink announced it will launch in Kenya in the second quarter of this year, posing competition to other players in the industry including Safaricom and Zuku. The billionaire technology entrepreneur's company announced it as pending service coverage or regulatory approval. Within each coverage area, orders are fulfilled on a first-come, first-served basis, the company said on its website. The multinational said it is targeting Nairobi, Kisumu, Mombasa and Nakuru among other towns and starting from the three months ending June. The company's entry into Kenya will be faced with stiff competition from some players in the business. Safaricom is the leading internet service provider in Kenya and has spent billions of shillings over the past five years on building its fixed data network to connect homes, amid growth for online streaming services like Netflix. The current internet service providers mainly offer connectivity via fiber optic cables, over Wi-Fi and cellular networks. Starlink, an offshoot of Mr. Musk's space technology firm SpaceX, on the other hand, delivers internet from satellite. Satellites. Starlink uses satellites aimed at providing broadband internet across the globe, much in the manner through which the global positioning system provides location data to cell phones around the planet.